I bet mama's not gonna miss this. Where's the other two? Where's the other two piggies? Oh, they're underneath. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Yeah. Piled up yeah. on top of yeah. each other. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are too big for this. Time to be weaned. Go to your new homes. <laughs> I feel you, Mama. I'm dealing with the same thing. <laughs> oh. And then you see these itty bitty tiny ones doing the same thing to their mama. Baby piggies everywhere. Who knew that the goat lady was gonna turn into the pig lady so quick? Oh, fighting. That's, that, that's my teat. That's my teat. <laughs> the first couple of days, pigs will fight over the teeth a little bit and then they will settle down on one teeth that they choose as their own and for the rest of their life with mom they will stick to that same teeth every time they nurse I thought that was so cool when I learned that I love learning new animals and you guys can learn with me learning about pigs Keeping them healthy. It's really, really fun. Hey, boys. I've opened up your door so you can come out here and graze. Okay. You steal that piece of cardboard. They have destroyed their food bowl. I don't know what the point is of giving a pig a food bowl. Guys, you are sleeping good. These are our two American guinea hog cooney cooney boars. The daddies of the babies. Don't not really know which one is the daddy and which one's not. But, anywho, I am letting them go out here so we're keeping mama's door closed and letting them have the pasture today seeing how she's got her hands full or hooves what Laura you checking out the chickens she's like these weren't here yesterday <laughs> you're a silly kitty These guys did great overnight, and now I'm going to be able to expand the area when we pull this fence all the way out to here when we add the other chickens in this evening when Ryan gets home. You coming to see what's up too? Oh, did Daddy forget to feed you guys last night? You guys don't usually follow me this closely in the morning. Peter Pepper, you stink. It is definitely breeding season. He is full on in rut. Don't mind his scurs. I know they're awful, but I didn't, I, I wasn't the one that burned his horns. Hi. You stink. You're ready to breed, aren't you? Not sure who you're going to breed with this year, but. Yep, that's what they do. That's the st that's the stink. Look at him. My gosh, he is beautiful. You loving on your baby. It's not so much a baby anymore. You still dry her off after a summer rain, though, don't you? Such a good mama. Licking her baby. The baby's a year old, but she's still trying to dry her off after the rain. So sweet. Nice girl. 
Hi, honey. Welcome home. Hi. What you got in there? I have some new residents on our farm. <gasps> Hi, Bok Bok Box. Nine to be exact. Hi, pretty girls. Ooh, hi there, ladies. These are Gold. laying golden comets. Did they just start laying, or how old did you say they were? Um, I think he said they're less than two years old, and he got six eggs from them today. So we. All right, Ryan and I have been working on this. You can see we've got fencing all the way around. Nice big area for them to graze and browse for our new chickens. First, we're gonna let out our juvenile hens to meet their um, duck and goose friend that they've been side by side with since hatching. They've been right next to each other but not together so this will be the first time where they can touch nose to nose or beak to beak i guess and i can officially say this because one of these ducks is from goldshaw farms so release the quacken they're like we have no idea what you want us to do and we're chickens not ducks but the duck over there is from morgan so, all right guys, come out. Say hello. <laughs> They're afraid of the goose. So this goose, I don't know if I've told this story on YouTube. This was a rescue egg. Its mama had hatched out some eggs and then left some eggs in the nest and wasn't sitting on them anymore. So it was from a friend locally and she said, if you want to try putting it in the incubator, I said, sure, I have the incubator going, so might as well. And that's where this goose came from, even though Ryan said we'll never have geese. You, you did also say we would never have pigs. <laughs> Rose knows. I knew that you wanted pigs. Deep down in your heart, you wanted geese too. <laughs> Still not convinced. Anyway, so these are our sweet babies from Robert at Daybird Aviaries. Not to flap them, then we had a, a little bit of an issue with a predator. So now we are down a little bit in our flock, but not down because we still have our older flock, but down in our this year's flock. But now we're not because the golden comets are here and we're about to have them come in and say hello to everyone as well. Aren't you going to come out, little quackers? Come on. Play. No. The chickens are like, oh, okay, we'll come out. So, no hostility between these guys, because like I said, they've been side by side since they hatched. So that's good. I didn't think it was going to be an issue. <laughs> the boys are loving getting to go out and graze. Ryan forgot to tell me that he had unplugged the electric fence. So when I let them out this morning, apparently they had some free time out in the pasture when he got out here after work he saw one out in the pasture so one of them was out roaming but the other one stayed in this fence even though it wasn't electrified pigs are super smart aren't they Bill? yes bill says i know it's dinner time yes i know it's my dinner time too 
These babies do not want to wean. Guys, you're old enough. You don't need mama's milk anymore. <laughs> oh, mama. You're gonna... <laughs> oh, you're gonna miss these days. I promise. You guys are acting like your own little flock already. How sweet. All right, Dada. All right. This turf is new for everybody. So I'll be curious to see who wants to act dominant or maybe they all just get along. Come on, girls. Can you check out all this grass? Oh my gosh, he's like, new girls. Let me see them. There's no rooster in here, this is all hens. Although, I was just talking to Robert at Daybird Aviaries today, and he said he might have a naked neck rooster that would go great with Golden Comet. Yes, that's your offspring. Yes, that's your competition. But don't worry, it'll be in a different cage than you. We do expect some pecking. It's called the pecking order for a reason. It is completely normal. But there's nine of them, so even though my girls have the home field advantage, the new girls have the number advantage. So as you can see, we couldn't leave them in that cage overnight for getting them used to it or anything. They definitely needed to get out. It's funny how Squirt, Squirty, the black chicken, who's been handled a lot and very docile, um, is not even remotely <laughs> interested in the new birds. Such a laid back character. This one looks like it's going to try to be dominant and peck the head. And peck. Nope, nope, nope. Heard, heard the commentator going and didn't want to make me right. I hear a kitty meow. First I thought it was Odin, but he's playing with his brothers and they've got me on messenger. So let me know if he gets cranky. There you go. Yay. Oh my. Oh my. I bet you for the first couple of days they stay separate as they forage. Pretty girls. These girls are already laying. They're about two years old, so we should get pretty good successful egg production pretty quick. A lot of times after transporting and moving animals, they will stop laying for a little bit, but it should only be temporary. Hopefully they won't start molting soon, because that could really mess us up egg production wise.
gonna go check in on Odin and make dinner. Thanks for your great work. I wouldn't call this great work. I'd call it quick work. This is true. That's what we're having to do these days. Doing the best we can. And there you have it, folks. A temporary structure set up in a timely manner to keep them safe for a short period of time before we can build our dream coop. We do have a coop design in mind that we want to do and it's going to be a very secure structure for nighttime because we do have the issue of nighttime predators but during the day they're going to have a run that is going to be very basic so that way we don't have to put in a lot of time money and effort into that because we have the goose with them to help protect from overhead predators but we also have the dogs so it, it, it should be enough <laughs> we'll find out soon enough